Welcome back. Our next guest, Dr. John Mesa, is a Harvard-trained, triple fellowship-trained plastic surgeon who is known for his extraordinary surgical techniques and stunning results. He is known for delivering premier individualized care and for achieving consistently beautiful, natural-looking results and is most famous for buckle fat removal, a procedure that is becoming increasingly popular. He joins us now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Dr. Mesa. Thank you, Dr. Lee, for your invitation. It's an honor and a privilege to be here in your segment. What exactly is buckle fat removal? Yeah, so book of fat removal is a cosmetic plastic surgery procedure to remove the fullness of the cheeks or the chubby cheeks that gives the patients a cheese cell super kind of celebrity or model look. It has been very, uh, it's a common procedure among celebrities, especially in Hollywood, but it was a kind of best kept secret. Uh, with the advantage of the social media and the internet, it became very popular. And now people find out that they start having to use selfies uh, and photo filters in their cell phones, they can have the built on selfie on themselves after the book of a removal. So basically this surgery makes people, uh, general people to look like a celebrity or a supermodel. Who is a candidate for buccal fat removal and who is not a candidate? So who is a candidate? Is anybody that has fullness of the face or chubbiness. A lot of people say that when they smile, they have chubby smiles or when they look heavier than their normal weight. Those are the ideal candidates. Also, an ideal candidate is somebody that has high cheekbones. And that answers your second question. Who is not a candidate? It's usually somebody that doesn't have high cheekbones. Why? Because in order to have a chisel look, you need to have absence of chubbiness or book of fat fat, and you need to have high cheekbones to have a V-shaped facial appearance. That is the definition of a chisel look. You are known as the buckle fat removal specialist. Can you explain why that is so important when choosing a plastic surgeon for this procedure? I mean, I tell the patients that buccal fat removal is a surgery that is not that easy. Why? Because if the anatomy is very complicated and is very difficult to find. And one of the major problems with this surgery is that when you are trying to find it and you cannot get it, you can damage the structures that are really close to the buccal fat pad. And one of those structures is the facial nerve. And if the facial nerve is, is damaged, then you are gonna have problems for, with smiling because then your face is gonna look crooked. So that's why it's very important to undergo this surgery with somebody that is specialized in this specific procedure. I read that your procedures on the face are all done with local versus general anesthesia, which is not the norm. Tell us why this is good for the patient. Yeah, this is very important because you need to have you, you need to try to achieve the best result with minimal risk or complications. This surgery is not easy. Why? Because the anatomical structure of the cheeks is very complex and you have a very important structure right next to the buccal fat pad that is called the facial nerve. The facial nerve controls the expression of your face, specifically your smile. So if this nerve gets injured during the surgery, you are going to end up with a crooked smile, which is not good. So that's why you need to uh, undergo surgery with somebody that is really familiar with this anatomy and the surgical technique to have a good, excellent result without minimal risk or damage of the nerve. That makes perfect sense. As a cosmetic dentist, many times I appreciate being able to do things under local anesthesia. The patient is not in any distress or discomfort, but there is no post-op or waiting for them to come out of something, and it's a, it's a lot safer for them. Yeah, so the norm in plastic surgery is to put the patients to sleep, either with general anesthesia or local anesthesia. I, since my training, I started to do the cases on the local anesthesia. Why? Because they are safer for the patients. When you don't have to go to sleep or when you don't have to go IV sedation or twilight anesthesia, you eliminate completely all the risks associated with those kind of anesthesia maneuvers. When you get the surgery on the local anesthesia, it's like when you go to the dentist, you are completely awake and you stand up and then you go home. And the advantage is that with the new techniques of local anesthesia, patients feel no pain during the procedure. So it's a win-win situation for the patients. Such interesting information. Thank you, doctor. No, you're welcome. Well, that is it for us today on Your Best Self. I hope you all enjoyed the info and had some fun. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Your Best Self TV to get 
more tips, behind the scenes content, and more. Until next time, be well and see you soon.